today I'd like to show you one of the Higgelkultir beds that we have in the garden. Higgelkultir is a German word meaning hill culture. Usually these are rounded mounds where people like to grow things like giant pumpkins. I've actually done that myself before. But I decided instead of doing the traditional Higgelkultir bed, I would combine it with a raised bed. As you can see here, we used these um, invasive tree stumps, they're sold in rolls at many garden centers in South Africa, to make the edging of the bed. They're quite strong, they're reinforced with metal. And on the bottom layer is um, tree branches, very big branches, palm tree fronds and so on. And the top layer is a mixture of topsoil and our compost from the compost heap. We've got quite a lot of lovely plants here. Right, so where do you start if you want to make a Hugelkultir bed? This here is one of our two compost piles. This is where we put our huge branches that we cut off of trees when we prune or um, if the branches are just dead. This is what you use for the base of your Hugelkultir. The dead branches act as a sponge on the very bottom layer of your bed. They absorb water and they make sure that you don't necessarily have to water all the time and they release water slowly like a sponge and they also slowly release nutrients. This is our second compost heap where we have the grass clippings, chicken manure, some of our kitchen waste, um, old cut flowers. From here, the very bottom of it is where we will put the top layer of our Higgelkultir bed. You mix that with a bit of topsoil. So you've got your bottom layer of sticks and big branches, and then you top that with um, your well-rotted manure and compost. This is still very fresh on top, but you would get what's underneath that's been worked in. This is sometimes a hot compost heap, sometimes it's a cool one, but it does the job quite well our chicken manure. Our girls are back there. Paris and Lindsay are hiding behind this bush. That's Solange in the front. And these are some baby marrow leaves or the marrow leaves from the big bed out front. So we use our grass clippings instead of just throwing them away. We use them as flooring in here and then we collect the manure mixed with the grass clippings and throw it onto the compost heap. Let that age before we use that in the garden because of course it's very very strong to use directly on plants, especially young plants that can burn them. So we use this mixture in our Higgelkultir bed. Some purple baby cabbages, there's chilies, basil, we've got here the green fennel and a little bronze fennel as well. Some bush beans. There's also a fish pepper. I've been wanting to grow that for ages. A Tabasco and marrows. These are very, very cute. The normal green marrows and some of the golden marrows as well. They can get very, very big, but I usually use them when they're babies. And I also have these wonderful heirloom eggplants. They were supposed to be pure white, but they turned out stripy. If you'll take a look at that supposed to be a white eggplant and we got all these purple stripy ones all right we have a cucumber here which I'm going to pull out we managed to get one good fruit from it here are some Asian greens some perennial basil I love the smell of this stuff we have a huge tomato plant here a bay leaf a volunteer tomato I did not plant this one it came up from the compost that we use turmeric that I planted from um, some bulbs or rhizomes that I was given and I'm trying to see if there are some tomatoes here yes lots and lots of tomatoes should actually make a plan to lift them off the ground this tree here is a pomelo also known as a grapefruit we've got a couple of fruit on here and back here are my capsicum bacatums. This is the Bishop's Crown variety. They've just started setting fruit and buds. 
very, very nice. It's so healthy. It's like a jungle. And I have some curly leafed lettuce. Lots of celery here. It's not really getting much light, but it does uh, the job that I need. I just need a few leaves for salads now and then. Uh, another volunteer tomato. This one just grew so fast. It's amazing. Um, I have purple basil as well. Some chamomile. Oh, this is lovely stuff. And huge rosemary plant. This is about chest height to me. Behind that is a dwarf lemon. I didn't plant that. We found that on the property, but it's doing quite well. I've been feeding it Epsom salts. And lots and lots of kale. I've got many different varieties. Curly leaf, the dinosaur kale, blue and the green. And we also have quite a few strawberries. These are a small fruited variety. And something is eating them. A lot of these lemons also fell down during the rain, but it's not a problem. There's lots more on the tree. All right, so a bit more about hugel culture um, or hill culture. I will leave some links in um, the description box below to show you how I built a previous bed in the front where I grew the giant pumpkins. 